Why, hello, this is another one of my videos. I'm the Lazy Gamer, and I'm pretty lazy. And I really am not very good at this game. I kind of learned by messing up, but I have got the Oaken Soul Ring. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to talk to you about you getting one. So, right now, I am in uh, Clockwork City. At this one building where you can do uh, transmutation. And I heard you can transmutate and reconstruct the Oaken Soul Ring. So what is the Oaken Soul Ring? Well, it's pretty darn awesome. Let me show you. Look at this thing. There's a regular ring. So I'm wearing Crimson Twilight and Legion Plate. I've, and if you watch my other videos, you know I, I love that stuff. Because it, it, it keeps me alive. Because it, it uh, heals me when I'm attacked. Now look at all the things this does. This is unreal. This is crazy. What you trade off is your your back bar. You don't have a back bar anymore. You just have the one bar. So you can't flip to another weapon. Well, I barely ever do that anyway, because I forget to do it. So this works great for me. Uh, look at all the things this thing does. It's so awesome. I like running tanks, and I have uh, 11 tanks. So that must mean I like... Well, it's kind of a default. Because I don't think I was ever very good DPS when I tried. And so, I said, well, I think I can tank. So then I just put a lot of armor together into tanking. But look at all the things this does. I'm not going to read it all to you. Go look it up. It is an awesome ring to have. And you get it by scrying. Now, let me tell you what you want to do. You want to level your scrying up. You want to level it up to 10 reason you do that is because the scrying in parts is not hard it's not hard I want you to get it on up to nine or eight you could you could scry a, a gold item what's hard to do and here's we are is uh, the excavation because I on, I'm horrible at it and it, I end up uh, having to go find the item several more times I mean you get unlimited try so that thank goodness for that and i found out that uh after watching a video this one guy had made he said uh you use a paintbrush twice and uh paintbrush once paintbrush twice and then uh, hit a heavy shovel i don't even use the little little shovel because it tends to break the casing i just use uh the little paintbrush where i think it's at and then you know, once twice and then that's your inspiration, and then you heavy shovel it. Okay, so go look that video up if you want to. And you got to be really patient when you're doing gold items. But it's doable. Look, I have it. I'm going to transmute it. I'm Well, I'm not transmuting it. I'm going to recreate it so I can have more than one. I have a whole bunch of characters. I might as well put it on all of them. Why would I? All I have is tanks. I could turn those tanks into DPS if I wanted to. I have 2300 points and that's not because I'm a good player I'm a horrible player and I did it by grinding I just I didn't know what grinding was somebody told me one time they said so you just run the same places over and over again yeah I, I do and I just kept leveling and leveling and here's the thing you get a hundred K per character per dungeon per day so if you have 11 characters, that's a lot of experience points. May I 10 would so? be a million. So you're going to level up really fast. So run each one of them in a normal dungeon. That's a normal dungeon. They don't give you more experience points for running uh, veteran dungeons. I don't want to run veteran dungeons right yet till I get to where I am absolutely useful to other people. To where I'm a good tank or a good healer. I've been playing around with healers lately. Look at this. I'm getting ready. I've made two of them. Okay, I was talking about something. I've made two of them and I put two of them in the bank. I may make... They're so awesome looking. I might make eight or nine more of them. I've never had anything this cool that did this many things. Now here's my uh, ex excavation. Excavating is, is the hardest part of this. You want to put points in everything. And I, when I got up to nine, I still wasn't able to really do a purple well. But I can do a purple with just a brush, just a little brush. But when you get to gold, you have to be really patient, really 
really put your mind to doing it or you'll run out of time or you'll break the encasement you'll do something you need, need to do and it'll it'll not work out and you'll end up having to go somewhere else and find it but eventually you can get it done so I put two of those in the bank and I'm wearing because I leveled to 10 I'm wearing the antiquarian backpack outfit and my assistant uh, companion, this is an assistant to bank, but my companion is, I have all of them, but Isabel, I put her in the robe. I, I'm not big on the robe. Let's put her out here and see her. She's coming on in now. Okay, so she's wearing the robe. And I kind of decked her out as a healer with a restoration staff because if she's running around, she can heal me. So here's where you find, uh, you can find all the leads. This is High Owl, and there's all the vents. You see the vents? I'm going around to them. They look like little spirals. And you go around. You can find all the leads at the vents, but you have to go around, and you have to the different ones when they go off. And they go off in no certain order, and they can go off two or three times in one place. And I've gone to these vents and tried to group with people, and nobody grouped with me. So I had to just uh, randomly go around and find vents, and I did it for a whole day. And I was able to get two leads. Two of them. Okay? So I got two leads from there. Then uh, I'm down in uh, uh, Hughes Bain in the Thieves Guild because I accidentally murdered some people. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, the other place you got to go to is, uh, I think. Maltar Bor. I, I can't never say this. Malabar Mal Tor. And you have to, you, you can do this. It works great. You have to break into a safe box. You go to a city and you break into a safe box. Several of them don't. Okay, so if you do get caught, here's my, here's my advice. Uh, go to campaigns and go to Cyrodiil and just beam out of there and then uh, go to Hughes Bain and go over to the Thieves Guild and boom, you can get rid of your uh, bounty because you don't want people taking stuff from you. So you don't want people... Uh, I do that when I'm ever in a PvP, uh, Imperial City uh, and the top part. I just, whenever I have enough Telvar stones, I just beam out over to uh, Cyrodiil. You just go to the very bottom of Blackreach. Nobody's hardly ever there. So then you go beam out of there, you know, with a teleport that they have a way shrine there. Okay, so here in Glen Umber, you just uh, you just mine a, a like a, a metal, a material. Okay, so that's the one for Glen Umber. All right, and here's another one right here. You, there's a there's a big old crab thing, Titan Claw, and you have to kill it, and it'll have one of the leads too. So I just gave you, uh, I got two of them at the vent. And the other three I had to go off and find somewhere else. And they weren't that hard. The hardest part is uh, excavating the gold treasure chest. That's the hardest part. There was one of them I did. I had to do 20 of them before I got it to come out of the ground. And the scrying's not that bad. But the excavating is horrible. So I might as well test. And here's the thing. I can't really tell any difference in it because I'm a tank. All right, so I sometimes fight world bosses. Here's one down here. I can't think of her name, but she's like a big old uh, catfish looking creature. And there she is. And so I'm gonna fight her. And uh, of course I'm wearing, I'm not wearing the full five leeching plate set. So the only thing that's gonna go off to help keep me alive is Crimson Twilight, which if I'm attacked, it, it then puts out a red cloud. That green cloud on the ground, that's her poison. That's not mine. And the red cloud is mine. That's the Crimson Twilight. So it's helping me a bit to stay alive. And I have uh, my only real weapon here is the Soul Strike, which is my ultimate. So I can hit her with that. And that just, there's that glaring beam that comes out. And it does like 40. Okay, I think my computer just did a doing sound. But So don't go check your own computer. Anyway, she dead. I got an item. I cut out a whole lot. It wasn't that quick. It, it took a while. It took a long while because I'm a tank and I don't hit that hard. Could I tell a difference? No, not really. Am I wearing that ring? No, not really. 
But then I'm not a DPS. I hear this is a DPS ring, but you have to be able to do a lot of damage. Somebody said, I don't know anything about this. I'm not a very good player at this game. I just knew I was going to get this, uh, this backpack outfit, and that helped me to keep uh, scrying and doing the excavating because it's such a long slog. And I knew that uh, if I got it, I could do uh, get antiquities. I've been putting antiquities. I mean, you get furniture for your house. You can get outfits. You can get uh, a ring like Oakensole, which is awesome. So uh, you just have to hang in there with the scrying because it is forever long to do. If you have uh, access through Somerset to the Sigic quest, you can get up there to Arteum. It's just greens and blues. You only start off with greens, and then you do greens and blues, and finally you work your way up and you level the thing up and you have to make you sure you level up excavation and scrying because in the beginning I didn't know you have to level up excavation I had no tools on the right so in review I've showed you where to go to get leads you get them in high aisle and you get them in these other places and then after you get these leads you go to high aisle and that's where you do the scrying okay so you get your leads, and you can get them all in High Owl, but you go to High Owl to do the scrying and find the treasure. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, please watch some of my other videos. I have some more, and uh, thank you for watching.